Okay, flashlights, like any small item, will at some point probably take a fall. Uh, whether it's knocked off the counter, uh, it slips out of your hand, gets pulled out of a pocket by accident. So let's see if this will survive a... It's a standard, you know, countertops here. Is that 40 in? No, no. 30 inches, something like that. Call it three feet. Just say standard kitchen countertop. This is a linoleum covered concrete slab. Survived one. I'm going to do a total of three. And there's three, two. And three. And it's still on. Ew. Say so survive that. Okay, so part one of battery life tests, room temp, uh, fluctuating probably between sixty-eight and about eighty-one degrees because that's where it's fall here in Northern California. <clears throat> but this has been in the house the whole time, so it doesn't you know even without the climate control, it, the temperature isn't fluctuating a whole lot. It went, yeah, that's right, I don't know how well that shows up on camera. I ran it four hours last night, and it still has juice. It seemed, I think it may have, being off all night, it kind of may give a little bit of a false reading right now. But, it was dim enough after four hours that I would say it needed a charge. I don't think it would have been very useful in a actual use situation. But, at least you know, you can get a good, you know, nice and bright, good four hours of, and it didn't, never got hot. Four hours on, and I just had it sitting on a table, and I could touch, I was checking it every 30 minutes, I could touch the bezel of the light the entire time, which is really nice. Because a lot of these tend to get hot. But, I have my second fully charged battery. A lot of time on these type of lights and batteries, the te the temperature in which it operates can affect how long the batteries last. So with the second battery, I'm going to do simulate a cold weather test by you know uh, taking it and I am going to turn it on and throw it in the freezer. And check on it every half hour, see how it does. After you know when it's you know stops working or when it gets dim enough or it's not useful, I'll let you know what the results were. Okay, um, final battery t portion of the battery test on the flashlight. Last night I did the standard uh, room temperature test. And shut it off about four hours. It seemed pretty dim. wasn't like it wasn't going to be a very good, you know, use afterwards. Fresh battery. Tried it again this morning. Threw this in the freezer to simulate a cold weather operation. At about five hours, finally it reached a point where I thought it wasn't bright enough to really use much. That makes me question my four-hour mark. But considering cold usually shortens the life of a battery, especially in a flashlight like this, I would say for the dollar value of this flashlight, it's a fantastic value. We'll do a different video in order for us to test, you know what, uh, the, hold on, sorry, car going by. I'm in the backyard right now, if you can't tell. I'm going to do a separate video for the recoil test. AR 2545 sharps and then figure out maybe zip ties or something to attach it to a 7 millimeter Remington Magnum see how it handle, hands up, no, handles that that's for a different video appreciate everyone stopping by have a wonderful day I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by the channel if you want to see more of my content I encourage you to check out you know my website calaveras32special.com Links below in the description.
I also encourage you to check out gunchannels.com, online you know two-way community you know set up and operated a couple years about five years ago at this point by G Webs or Mr. Gun Websites. You know he is a avid activist for you know our two-way rights, so that's where I encourage you to stop by there, as well as his website gearwebsites.com. Where he, you know, where his finance, a lot of his financing comes from, you know, to help him, you know, fight for our rights. I hope you guys are, you know, uh, willing to stop by, you know, both of those websites. Oh, and before I get on mine, I have my Spreadshirt store link and my Patreon link over there for anyone who is so inclined as to helping out the channel. Much appreciated. And anything I decide to, any money I get over there, I'll be putting back into the channel, and I'll be giving my patrons a chance to chime in as to what they think I should be using it on. I want to say again, thank you very much for stopping by. Have a wonderful night.